Well, I am Pastor Marvin Winans, and I am delighted to just praise God for the advancement of our son, uh, James Lowe and Debbie Lowe. And Bethel, you have a jewel, and I pray that the anointing of God would just increase in your life, that the wisdom, the power, the miraculous working power of Jesus Christ would be evident in that ministry. And we bless you now that the anointing that you have received and the anointing that you have, would just be increased in the name of Jesus that souls would be saved bodies would be healed folk would be delivered demons would be cast out and the power of God would be made evident hallelujah pray ye therefore to the Lord of the harvest that he will send forth laborers into the harvest eight months ago right here in this room the Spirit of the Lord did something dynamic in my life and dynamic for this church. He started giving me a message that marked us, not just for a moment, but I believe for the next generations to come. He said the words to me, it's harvest time. As I began to preach about the Samaritan woman and the whole city that followed her back to meet Jesus. I believe when God gave me that scripture, he began to ignite a fire, not in just me, but the church that will not be put out. Hundreds of people in eight months have been saved, filled with the Spirit, and 350 have been added to this local church. I still said, God, you've you, you got to give me something more, and I took this church on a three-day fast, only to have a visiting man of God, a prophet of God, and a healing evangelist, Harry Gomes, tell me prophetically three nights in a row, and it's on tape, that God is calling this church to expand and stretch out. I no longer had any fear. I just had to say, yes, it's harvest time, Lord, but it's time for me and this church to embrace the harvest that you promised us. So church, I'm embracing the harvest and I'm inviting each and every one of you to join me in embracing the harvest. Over the last five years, we've had numerous consultants come and tell us uh, basically the same thing that you have some parking problems, which I'm sure that every person in here has experienced at one time or another, and your building is too small for the type of ministry that you create and you attract. And year after year after year after year after year, we do some minimal things, but nothing that is really sustainable. And now we have come to the point where we're going to expand this vision because God has told us to do so. The one thing that we notice about Bethel is that once you get out of church, there's just simply no place to connect. And we're gonna solve that problem. We're going to give you over 20,000 square feet of relational and connection space. I'm talking about coffee shops, sitting areas, playgrounds, outdoor patios, and places where you can just actually find not just your faith, but a friend in God, and you can sit with him. The other thing we're going to do is more than double the capacity of our sanctuary. How about that? And we're going to have a stage that is big enough to accommodate the type of choirs and worship that we enjoy as a ministry. And you're going to have a seating that you can actually bring a friend, give them an individual seat, and they can feel comfortable. Children at our church are going to have such a great experience that they're going to ask you to bring them up here when it's not Sunday. They're going to have a two-story playland where when they exit children's ministry, they can actually slide down and meet you uh, as you exit church. You're going to have new youth uh, facilities that are going to be compelling. It's going to be the after-school designated place. And this sanctuary that we sit in now is going to accommodate the thing that is most popular at Bethel, food and eating. Our family meals will be hosted right here as we transform this into our uh, multi-purpose fellowship hall and conference area that can seat over three, 650 uh, for banquets and meals. I'm going to tell you this, our ministry is never going to be the same. We're going to outreach more than we've ever had before because we have the capacity now to reach so many people. I want to invite you to come on this journey with our church as we embrace the harvest. Over the next three months, you're going to be hearing uh, so much information about what's going on and how you can participate. We all know that we can pray, and that's one thing. We all know that we can give, that's even another. But I'm going to give you an opportunity to physically participate. I want everybody in this church on November 4th to join me 
for a service and a meal together. Well, we're going to celebrate what God has done through us together because we decided to embrace the harvest. Church, get ready because God is calling men and women, boys and girls, from the north, south, east, and the west to come to this church, not just because they hear about us, but because he's sending us out into the harvest field and compelling them to come in. And that's why we're expanding our church. It's not big enough to hold the harvest that God has planned for us. But if we say yes, and we will enlarge the place of our dwelling like God has said, then we will see a mighty harvest, and soon. We love you so much here at Bethel, Pastor Rice and myself and Debbie and Jody want to say thank you for just giving us the opportunity to pastor you. We love you. God bless you. See you on November 4th at our event.